FTSE 100 today, but overall the index closed down around 1%, 44 points as you can see. It was really after those GDP figures came out for the first three months of this year, showing a contraction of 2.4% for the UK economy and also some worse than expected uh, consumer confidence data coming from the United States, and that caused the Dow Jones to slide as well, also down around 1%, that's down 82 points. But overall, since March, the Dow Jones is actually up 11%. Now, the FTSE has also, well, those numbers disappeared there on the board, you can come back to me, I expect now, might be more interesting. Um, overall, the FTSE, though, has uh, actually recovered from its low point in March as well, um, but still really hasn't recovered its opening from the beginning of the year, and that's really because of uncertainty about the current economic crisis continues, I'm afraid. So all the business news for tonight, of course, we'll have more tomorrow, as usual. Chris? I'm enjoying the blank screen. <laughs> <coughs> so it might be Sorry. more interesting, <laughs> but you never know. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks very much, Giselle. Thank you.